Beaver's Day Out, Chapter 6, Mole's Birthday Party. Beaver then realized that Mole's birthday party was the next day. Beaver went to bed in his new lodge, preparing for the swim ahead. Beaver woke up a little earlier and started out for Mole's house. Beaver was so excited that he would be able to make it to the party, and he thought of a birthday gift that he could get for Mole while he was swimming. Beaver remembered that earthworms were Mole's favorite, so he swam to the riverbank and searched for some. He tried digging since he knew that he was very good at digging, but he just couldn't find any. So he tried looking near tree roots, but he didn't find any there either. Finally, he tried lifting up a big log and beamed as he started collecting all the earthworms there. He hollowed out the end of a tree branch and put the earthworms inside, then continued swimming until he reached Mole's place. Hi, Mole. Happy birthday, exclaimed Beaver. This present is for you. There's a surprise in the branch. Beaver handed the very excited Mole the branch. Thanks, Beaver. Come inside. Mole motioned Beaver to come into the burrow, which was decorated with pretty leaves and fireflies. Inside, Beaver saw Mouse and Sparrow chatting, and he joined them at the earthen table. Hi, Beaver. Nice to see you again, said Mouse. How is your new dam been going? As Mole sat down to join everyone, Beaver told the whole story, from finding the perfect place, to building his dam, to making his lodge. That's amazing, Beaver. How did you get all that done in just a few days? asked Sparrow. I don't know. It's just instinct, replied Beaver, who really knew how to build what he needed without ever having seen it done before. After talking and laughing with his friends for a while, the sun began to rise again, and Beaver knew it was time to go home. He said goodbye to his friends, wished Mole a happy birthday once more, and set out to go rest in his very own new home.